Hey guys, the old gamer guy here, with a sort with an in memory of a company that recently went bankrupt and shut down, and that company being THQ, aka Toy Headquarters, filed for bankruptcy last year, December twentieth, and they shut down this last Wednesday. So wow, did not see this one coming at all, especially THQ, because. Out of all the gaming companies that have been shutting down and having layoffs and all this other crap going on, THQ I think would be one of the last ones to be dealing with this crap, or should I say dealt with this crap. And the fact that the Wiki Wikipedia page says THQ Inc. was a North American developer just, ugh, it doesn't sit right with me. The fact that, the fact that uh, THQ is just gone, ugh. It, it's weird. It's like, when I think of top publishers of the gaming industry, I think of Activision, EA, um, Ubisoft, Ubisoft, and THQ. And the fact that one of the four are just gone is shocking to me. And, T and I thought THQ was one of the good, you know, publishers that took care of their developers and, took, and actually liked the developers that they worked with, unlike Activision, which they don't give two shits about their developers, forcing forcing it, Treyarch and Infinity Ward to make do the game every year. That's bullshit. But on a different note, the uh, di going back to the total THQ thing, can't believe they filed for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Wow. It's it, when I found out about it, it it, it shocked me like my heart sank because I grew up with this company basically because 10 years basically 10 years ago when I first got my PS2 the first the first game I ever first PS2 game I ever played was a uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom and that was developed by Heavy Iron and published by THQ and both those companies are gone which makes you feel really old and really really shitty <laughs> so I'm kind of right now because there are all these companies that are just, all these um, gaming developers are just out in the open with nothing driving with them. So, what's going to happen to uh, Saints Row? What's going to happen to Darksiders? Jeez, geez, sorry. What's going to happen to Company of Heroes? What's going to happen to the WWE series? Homefront, Warhammer 40,000, Red Faction, Destroy All Humans, etc, etc, etc. What's going to happen to them? Well, I got an update for that. And apparently, oh geez, uh, apparently the Saints Row, Saints Row, and uh, Volution, the developer that makes Saints Row, was bought by uh, Koch Studios. Koch, K-O-C-H. Sounds a lot like crotch, but okay. It's apparently that company, that pu that publisher, uh, owns the same. Uh, Develop, develop owns uh, Techland, which makes the Dead Island series, so that's really interesting. And the and apparently the WWE series was bought by Take Two Interactive, which was which are the guys that make the GTA series, which that will be really weird. And uh, Platinum Games is planning on acquiring Darksiders, but Homefront, Company of Heroes, and Destroy Humans, and all those other games are just left out in the open. Hopefully they don't die off, especially Destroy All Humans, because I loved that game series, and I still do. And, uh, oh, jeez. That is, is just sad. I mean, when I found out about it, I basically wanted to cry. It's like a part of my childhood just died. Ugh. Why? Why did this happen to me? Why did it happen to them? Oh, God. It's a sad day. Jeez. I still can't believe it. What is it? They're around for 24 years, and I knew that company for 10 years. Wow. Oh wow. That is just. Ugh. I'm still shocked. You, you just think about it. We will never see a new game with the THQ logo on it ever again, and we'll never we'll never see any of those classic intros for their companies ever again. 
which is kind of sad. And something that, and then so, uh, yeah, I hate my voice. Uh, <laughs> another thing that is that I thought was pretty cool, well, at least in my mind, at least, was that for the WWE games, is that I thought, oh, this W13 is such a good game, and how they did all this with the Attitude Era and all that. Jeez, THQ really stepped it up this year. I wonder why. How they're going to top it this this year? Looks like I found out why, because I'm pretty sure that was, they thought they were going to think, oh, that's our last WWE game. We better go out with a bang. Which, that's pretty cool, and it shows how awesome THQ is as a company, and how they drive you to make an awesome game like that and they drive evolution and they drive all the other developers to make great games and they give them as much time as they need they don't have some stupid deadline okay they do have a deadline but it's not has time ugh, you know, time yeah whatever it's called like activation which forces their <laughs> developers to make game to make a a game in a year, which sucks. They do the same thing with Ubisoft. Does the same thing with their Assassin's Creed games. That's why another Assassin's Creed game comes out every year, because they only have a 12 to 18 months to make a new game, which is I think it's bullshit. They should have at least a good two good two years to make their games. Why I think the leap from Assassin's Creed One to Assassin's Creed Two was so great, and how they've always been just stuck in a rut recently. Huh? Maybe we should give them some time. But anyway, THQ is gone. Rest in peace, THQ. You were an awesome publisher, and the developers of your games were awesome, and hopefully the developers will have a great future with their new publishers, and they don't get bullshit out. So I salute you, THQ. You were an awesome gaming publisher, and you were awesome, and we will all miss you dearly. I'm Noel Gamer Guy, and I'll see you guys 